Okay, praise, this thing is working. I just dropped my camera and I almost cussed. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my gosh. The other And yesterday I dropped my laptop. What is going on with me? Hi, my name is Heather. I am here with a Thread Up Rescue Box video for you. If you are new here, thank you for coming to check me out. I feel like my camera has a smudge. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, it was gonna be a shoe rescue box video and I had filmed it this week. I was like doing really good and I was all prepared and then something happened with my memory card when I plugged it into my computer. It said it couldn't read it or something. I have no idea, but I lost my footage and I've already listed some of those shoes. So I'm just like, well, I think the best shoe in there, if you guys are interested, was a pair of joie, like over the knee suede boots. It was like a decent box. Um, so it's not like we missed anything like great unboxing. So instead I have two thread up fun boxes, which is fun because I actually haven't done these ones in a really long time. And I got two of them so we can kind of see which one is better, like a little competition. So yes, if you like reseller content, please hit the subscribe button down below. I put out three videos a week. I do what sold videos, haul videos, and these thread up mystery unboxings. So. I would appreciate your support. These are $34 for 10 items. So it's actually like really cheap, which comes out to like what, $3.40 an item. I don't remember if I pay tax. I don't know. I just click the button and buy it. Um, but sometimes you can actually get some really good stuff in here. I think I got a coach watch once that I sent back into ThreadUp and they sold it and I made over $100 profit, which was amazing. What sucks now is I can't send anything into ThreadUp. I can't get any labels and I don't know when they're gonna bring that back. I really wish they would. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna give you a top look of this first box and we're gonna get into it. Would it be nice if there's some stuff in here I could give like as Christmas presents? I think I'm almost done buying my kids gifts. I ended up getting Grace some Doc Martens for her big present this year. She hasn't owned any of those before. So I was excited to get those for her. Here's the top look. There's almost always like socks and a scarf in here. So, Let's just get right into it. This is a pair of Francesca's tights, which I think this is just like some little random store in the mall. I think I've seen it there before. They're nylon spandex blend, nothing special. They're just a pair of black tights, size small, medium. I'll still list these though, because they're good for bundling. So maybe someone will want them. Next is a little like wrist clutch type of thing. It looks like an animal leopard print. Um, it has a spider zipper pull i'm gonna make a wild guess and that's not focusing and say it's no brand is what i was going to say okay it says made in italy charlotte olympia is that actually something good <laughs> i was like this looks like just something cheap but then it said made in italy okay charlotte olympia i don't know anything about this so if you do please put it in the comments down below it's a cute little animal print like clutch so maybe that's good. Made in Italy at least tells me it's like not gonna be complete like trash, like made in China, I don't know. <laughs> but sometimes though stuff made in Italy doesn't mean it's gonna be worth something. When I first started thrifting, I would like, oh yes, like this is gonna be great. And then you learn because you look up comps and realize not everything made in Italy is good. This is a pair of Old Navy leggings. They're a size women's large. So they're just a pair of gray leggings, but at least they're new with tags. They kind of just feel like thin, lightweight. If they were medium, I'd possibly keep them. Although I usually need like uh, tall. So anyway, gray leggings, old navy, not bad. We're gonna save this little thing in the bubble wrap for the end. Here we have a, the nice thing is I feel like I get a lot of new with tag stuff in here. Like this is new with tags, Victoria's Secret. So it is a size 36C bra. Let's see if I can figure out the style. And here it is. It is the line Demi Bra, pink, new with tags. So that is great. I definitely will be able to sell this. Um, yeah, thank you. Right up. That's very good. Here we go with a slip, another new with tag item. Um, this is Flora from Macy's, kind of like a lingerie maybe type brand by Flora Nycruz. So I think if you can actually find like the Flora Nycruz, I think I've sold some of their like nightgowns or like pajamas and stuff. But this is just like a mint green like lace front, has like kind of like 
polka dots or like mm, Swiss dots here on the side. Let me see if it's silk. I'm glad that it's new because that will definitely make it better to sell, I feel like. Made in China. Where is the material tag? I can't find it. Okay, guys, that's a mystery. Um, I don't see it in the side. Oh, here it is. Haha. <laughs> it is, this is taking forever. I'm so sorry. Polyester. It's not silk. I wish it was, but it's still nice because it's new with tags. So I will definitely sell that myself. Okay, here we go. This is like a headband. This is from the brand South Beach. I don't know if that's really anything. I'm going to guess not. It's just this, what even is this? Print. Like jungle, I guess. Like jungle, cats, leopards, has a knot front headband. Um, again, I'll probably list it cheap. It is new with tags. Good bundle item. Hey, I was right. We have the classic socks. Too bad it's nothing great. Riders by Lee. Uh, a pair of women's no-show socks. Should I sell these or just keep them for like random socks? I don't know. I don't feel like this is like worth selling. So I don't know. I might just keep them or see if Grace wants them just for some extra socks. Okay, there's something like very heavy. And then there's one other thing. So this is a picture frame, I think. <laughs> Who sends this stuff in the thread up? Okay, we have, wait, is Waterford Crystal good? Waterford Crystal 5x7 picture frame? For some reason, I feel like I like recognize that brand. Okay, editing Heather here. I'm in the kitchen baking some snacks for youth group. I ended up looking up this frame because I was like, this sounds good. And there was an insane sold comp. I mean, for me, I never would have thought a picture frame would be worth this much. So I'm gonna pop it up after this. So you can ignore my comments about, I don't know what this is worth after this. Here's what one just sold for earlier this month. I don't know anything else about this. I don't know if, I mean, I guess it's new. Um, I don't know what it's worth. Waterford Crystal? Again, comments down below. Let me know what you know about this. It's very, very heavy. Okay, and the last thing is a pair of sunglasses. So. I think, or maybe there's two things in here. They're wrapped up in bubble wrap because I feel like there's like earrings and sunglasses. So let's just do the earrings first. And these are new, just from Charming Charlie. Okay, so is this store even around anymore? I don't know. They are anchors, white, blue, and orange. So that's kind of cute. They only retail for $10, so. This could just be another cheap bundle item. Since they're new, I'll probably still list them. Uh, yeah, I don't think Grace would wear those or me. Last thing is the sunglasses. Wow, they're very, um, what is this shape? One, two, three, four, five, six, hexagon. Um, here we go. There's a model look. I would not wear these. What are they? It has a whole bunch of numbers and no brand. FTG, there's like China right here. They're probably not anything good. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Like, should I look up these numbers? See, there's like those numbers. And then there's just like a whole bunch of numbers over here. But I feel like with good sunglasses, like they will have the brand inside here and there's no brand. So they might just be like Walmart or Target or something. FTG, I don't know. And it just says made in China. They don't, they don't feel expensive. So maybe I'll see if Grace wants some like fun sunglasses. I don't know if these are like her style. So that's the first box guys. Keep that stuff in mind as I open up the next one. And we'll see that pulled out some of my hair when I put those on. Okay. Waterford crystal, uh, frame socks, earrings, sunglasses, headband, whatever you want to call that, a bra, leggings, um, whatever this was. I already forgot. Tights. <laughs> mm, my memory is getting bad as I'm getting old. Okay, let's go into box number two. 
and I might, I probably won't have this stuff listed by the time this video goes up, but I should with like very soon. So if you are interested in anything, you could message me on Instagram. I'll have that information down below and we'll see. Right now, so the only extra box I have left over there is a coach box. I'll be opening that one next Sunday, which means I probably need to be ordering another Thread Up Rescue box this week. So I don't run out. Okay, here we go. Let me give you another top look. Box number two. There it is. Shall we get out the colorful... We don't know what this is. It's a USB cord. <laughs> Thread up, you are so random. A USB cord, is this like for my phone? Let me see. Because I could always, it is. I can always use a new phone cord. Okay. I just got a new phone cord. Actually, you know what I seem like I get lost more is the blocks. Okay, so we have a new iPhone cord. Keeping, thank you. Very useful. We have this vintage looking little beach umbrella purse with the like little black braided handle. I'm assuming there's no brand. I am correct. But I still think this is kind of cool. It's kind of like a tapestry style. I've sold something like this in like a cat skirt, a cat bag. <laughs> so I think I can still sell this. Maybe not for much, but I don't know. It's cute. So we'll keep that. What in the actual crap? Okay, new with tags. <laughs> These boxes are so random. Universal Thread, which is just Target. This retailed for $15. It is like a newsboy cap. I think it's black or is it navy blue? Let me see if it says, oh, navy, navy blue. So again, I'll probably still sell this. Another good new with tags item. Okay, this is one of the things. Wait, I think I know what these are. Um, does it say adhesive bra things? I'm not going to say everything that it says because we can kind of figure out what this is. So it says it's a size DE. I don't know if these are sellable because I don't know if there's really a brand and I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Okay. Thread up. Um, more, <laughs> New with tags. Uh, this is a brand Felina. I don't know why I'm touching them like this. They're new. Okay. Nobody wore them. Um, size large. They retailed originally for $17. Went down to $10. They're pink. Okay. They're little underwear. They're sheer. We're not going to talk about that very much longer. Okay. Good thing <laughs> Ryan would be so like creeped out if he was opening this with me. Next, if you want to get into shape this January, I have this don't know bungee it's like a bungee I thought it was like a jump rope I'm like this is too short to be a jump rope okay so this is like a workout thing uh who is sending this into thread up like you think you were gonna get something for this I mean I have been trying to like work out a little bit more so this could be useful maybe I'll just put it over by our workout stuff I don't see any kind of brand or anything on it oh empowerfitness.com okay I'm sure you can't sell this for anything, so here we go. I'm going to guess box number one is winning so far, but you never know what could be in here. Next, we have this, which is looks like felt that you get from the craft store. Um, does this fold over? I don't know, because when I do, it just pops back up. <laughs> it looks like there should be more to it, like maybe a handle or something. There is no brand. It feels very cheap. I'm probably going to give this to the Goodwill because I think this is worthless not to be mean <laughs> okay come on box give me something good legs sheer energy nylons does anybody like wear these anymore i mean i guess somebody must control top size a which is 410 to 57 85 to 150 pounds so but are they used or like did they shove them back in there I don't know, and I don't really think I can sell these either because I'm pretty sure they're really cheap at Walmart. Okay, a belt. A belt that's really thin and feels really cheap and has no branding. This box is trash. This is a silver 
zero branding belt. And that is another worthless item. Can I say that curse word now? Okay, here we go. This says Estee Lauder, so I'm going to guess it is a free with purchase um, bag. At least it's colorful and cute. I just don't know if it's worth anything. Here's the print. What is this even? Little heart people? Flowers? Daisies? I don't know. It's like a tote. It's cute. But is it worth anything? Time will tell. We're running out of items here. Okay, Vera Bradley. Okay, this could be something finally that is worth something that I could sell. I think there's some pajamas. Here's the shorts. They are floral with a stripe in the bottom. And then the top is, are they both size small? The top size small? Yes, the bottom size small. So, hey, I think I could probably actually sell these. Yes. Here's the top. It's like a tank top, cute little pajama set. I don't know if Grace would want these. She's not super into Vera Bradley, I don't think so. But I think this is something I can sell. Finally. Okay, we have two things left. We have something balled up and we have like some kind of jewelry. It's not looking good, guys. Here's, oh wait, here's what this is. I can't see what this is. I guess you should say, I don't know. Alcia Rosea. Al Let's just get into it. It's new with tags. Here's how it's spelled. I don't know if I was pronouncing that correctly. It's another like little nighty type of slip thing. This one, however, I have not heard of. It's like a satiny mm, beige cream, gold-ish color. So I don't know if it's worth anything. It is polyester blend. So we'll see. I'll look up comps to decide if that is worth selling. And then my last item is, I mean, what? What is this? Wow, this is not a competition. Sorry for the letdown. Okay, maybe this is something good. I shouldn't speak too soon. They're earrings. Okay, they're gold earrings. How? They're like, I don't know. Oh, like this? They're like this? But like, I don't see any branding anywhere on the back. So, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, they're probably worthless, right? Because I can't find anything. They don't have any branding. Okay, guys, that was box number two. Gold earrings, new with tags nightgown, Vera Bradley, pajamas, a felt bag, a phone charger, an Estee Lauder bag, uh, something that covers your chest, pink lace underwear, the beach bag, hey, the beach bag, <laughs> old navy hat, exercise band, and a cheap belt. Oh, and don't forget these. Nylons. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, put in the comments below. I'm going to guess everybody's going to say number one, but maybe someone will shock me. Uh, there is a couple things, though, in that first box that I could use some help with. So if you have any insight or any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming to my channel. I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Whatever you are planning on doing, I'll be going to church and then probably doing some work and chilling at home. So I will see you guys on Tuesday with another haul video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.